Funny. You see that guy right there? He is the man. Hey, hey, he is the man. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we We're going? We're going to the BB house, baby. Oh, Woo we are going to hop on a boat and go have a big damn time. And we're sailing the space between part two, 2.1, or whatever it is. BBI edition. <laughs> Not the BBI edition. edition. So be careful. There'll be a lot of beep, beep, and, and blurred vision. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. So thankful for everything Rejuvenating my inner light as I work hard for all I need Open arms, embracing life and all the which you gave me I work it pays off, I'm happy now, it's paying me Do the shit and love it on a day and leave Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave, never leave But that ain't gonna be me, that ain't gonna be me My brother called me, I said he saw me on TV And we are T minus how many hours, Carol? We have to be like there in 10. 10. We, have to, we have to be there. We have to be at the airport in less than 12 hours. 12 hours. And so thanks to this guy, hours. this guy right here, we have, we <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it when she fingered me. <laughs> it's not what she said. <laughs> we have a uh, new addition to the uh, itinerary. Would you like to tell? Oh, no, that's thanks to Randy. I'm pretty sure it was your I think it was doing. You. Um, Laura from La La Libra is going to join us for six days in the BVI's. All right. We're looking forward to doing a collab with her. Should be a I'm looking forward to more than that. Big time. <laughs> That'll get edited out. <laughs> I'll collab her. I mean, oh, excuse me. What was that? That's what I told Holly in the way in. I'm like, you know what? It might be better that we don't go to dinner with Laura. Ooh. Because yeah, if she'd be she's back Randy, he's yeah. all wound up. I told her, I was like, don't scare her before she even gets down there. Uh, she's all, that's exactly what I said. If he's all so wound up, she may not even get on the airplane. So, yeah. We are fixing to have a fantastic time with fantastic friends. And uh, stay tuned. As the plane rose up out of the darkness to meet the new day, I was warned by my crew not to be filming this early in the morning. But trust me, you didn't miss much. Saying goodbye to the Bahamas and rounding up into the Puerto Rico, we could see everyone getting up, bustling around, getting ready to go to work. Now we're on the puddle jumper to the Tortola. Crew's looking a lot livelier. He needs a wardrobe change. We're going to have to hear him cry in the car. Go in the wardrobe. Take the Kevlar off. We yeah. made it through the uh, it through security, the so we, we can take the, the black jacket off. Said, the All right, we got to get dressed. Get your <laughs> take the feather out. Out of where? Don't cry, pretty girl. It was in the chicken. You're oh oh oh. You're getting <laughs> pretty for the vacation. You yeah. yeah. Oh, you are the man. This is okay, our new favorite be... person. No spilling, okay? No spilling. No spilling. No spilling. No spilling. No spilling. Yes. Gracias. We have, uh, Thank you. We have, Thank you. Uh, Thank you. What's your name, by the way? Raul. 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 Thank you, Raul. Thank you, Raul. Cheers to Raul. Cheers, Cheers to Raul. Woo! Ching, ching. Pretty water. We are here in Moorings. Getting checked in. Yay! Woohoo! Whipples are over. Yonder. Beers in hand. So far, so good. And Holly's yeah. on water already. Let's have some fun. Cheers, Cheers, bitches. <laughs> Don't cry, choking. We'll only force you to drink this once. Time to get the provisions back to the boat. So here we are. We got $700 worth of groceries and nowhere to put it. We paid to be here early and in true Moorings fashion. We got thrown to the curb. It's after 5 o'clock. We were supposed to have our stuff by five o'clock, and now, here it is. Just had to pay the right person. How is being the captain on a ship that does not belong to you so far? It is what it is, it's just like any other ship. It has its uh, idiosyncrasies and can't run the water heaters with the ACs. Uh-huh, we got power management issues. We got power management issues. I thought on these newer hey, leopards they fixed that. I know a guy that can hook this boat up with some yeah. solar and some extra power to you make it all happen. The, you wouldn't even need the power, right? Correct. 
Put some lithium ion batteries yeah. on them. And then there's DJ Cindy. What what you doing, Jack? So I'm a little spoiled. Uh, yeah, why do we not do the whole Because on on Holly's boat we have these nice mattresses with these uh, toppers and it's all nice and comfy and we have you know comforters and all kinds of stuff. Here we have a pad that's about this thick. It's pretty hard and it's right on top of a piece of plywood, which is not going to work for me. So, we are blowing up. So, Princess and um, a Pea over here. Yeah, so we're going to do Princess and the Pea. And um, we're going to put blow up mats underneath the mattress pads to try to help make it a little more tolerable. Gotcha. All right, so you missed the, um, <laughs> the Princess and the Pea. We have put our. $60 worth of American flag floating mattresses underneath the bed and hopes to make them more comfortable. We shall let you know how it ends up. But we can deal with a hard mattress for a week. Definitely more headroom. Captain got an owie in the first 10 minutes of being here. It's been a little longer 10 minutes. First thing I dislike about the Power Cap 52 refrigerator that's sitting on the floor. And if you open it anywhere near your feet, it just rips the skin from here to here, back, nice and clean. Bad design, bad design. It's so around 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm awoken by a Randy who was awoken by a cabin full of smoke. Now it definitely smells electrical but I thought it was coming from the engine room, so I opened up the engine and went upstairs and turned on the engine exhaust fans to suck all the smoke out of that side of the uh, boat. Seems to be a problem. Is this a fun night one? <laughs> Luckily, we're still at dock, but look who did make it. She could even sleep through a fire. Of course, we're all standing around here, and I'm thinking, I haven't heard shit from Perry. They're dead in their bed in there. <laughs> you were dead in your bed, right? <laughs> he wasn't worried about he wasn't worried about Lawn and Trish. It was just Terry and Cindy. No, that's not true. I'd already checked on Lawn. Oh. Lawn didn't even so much as turn over, but I saw him breathing, so I'm thinking he's alive. <laughs> I don't know how you I fucker slept dreaming. through that. I thought I was dreaming smelling smoke. I'm like, well, oh fuck, I must be burning in, something. It was carbon monoxide poisoning. Y'all would have deep purple marine lips. Maybe your whole body. <laughs> well, the, 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 the carbon monoxide yeah. detectors did, did not go off. Or, no, they're disconnected. Oh, what? I was going to say they didn't go the off. <laughs> the only thing that got them up is the smell. And the noise, I think, right? That's weird because Jack doesn't really drink. So there are weird smells. Off to a great start. Can you tell me about it? Last night, about two o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. he heard something running. We were over here. He's in this cabin here, mm -hmm. and his whole cabin is full of smoke. His smoke detector Actually, and his carbon monoxide right? detector are just disabled. I had to use the restroom. Not for you. The hydraulic pump came on at two in the morning. So the little fire was uh, the wires melting and starting hydraulic free of burning. I, I just wonder what makes it just suddenly do that. Like it's not like anybody was using the lift and putting power to it and making it meld together. It's like sleeping. Like what makes it just randomly meld together? Randy could have been sleepwalking out there trying to play with shit. I don't know. Yeah. You'll never know. Tell yeah. the truth. Yeah. What device did you guys yeah. have plugged yeah. in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we know what yeah. air are bad. What else yeah. is it? Yeah. You know she's got a big one when it's hydraulic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. On that note. Another reason. I hate it when my husband's right. He told us, do not unpack everything because sometimes stuff goes down 
and you have to change boats. So I think he jinxed us because we didn't knock on wood or anything. So now we are all packing up and we're going to take the boat out and play for a little while. And then they're going to bring another boat to us where we raft up to it and then transfer all of our belongings and all of our provisions and all of the beer and all of the ice and everything else onto a different boat. And hopefully that boat doesn't have any problems. So here we are. But as we said with Terry, problems in paradise are better than a, a, a good day at work. So our davits don't work. So we're having to tow the dinghy until we get our new boat in three hours. We are pulling out of here. Captain is doing a magnificent job on the first time with his power cat. And I'm sure I'm getting horrid wind noise, so we got a front porch. Mama's happy. What's up, doll? Hey. So we get over here to Willie T's. I'm gonna go and down. And it he's looks like, as if well, uh, well, our boat's on fire again. You and your husband. So we have shut off all the power. We have turned off all the power to the boat, uh, refrigerators, freezers, and we are waiting for them to now bring us the replacement boat. Which, but they assured us that this hydraulic pump could not burn anymore. They assured us incorrectly. But anyway, we're gonna have a few more drinks, change boats, and we'll get back to you. Get that dinghy out. Can you get the dinghy in there? Hey, when the dinghy's in the way. Hey, when the dinghy's in the way. He's got a... What side are he coming on now? He's, he was pulling up on this side. Which way are you going, Captain? Just as flat. Over here. He's got several. Uh, Permission to come aboard. Hey, what's your name? Okay. Hey. Donette. Donette? Donette? Really? Yeah. Yeah. And James? Okay. Jen. Jen. Okay. All right. So we're going to do a quick transfer. We're going to just uh, yeah, move shit over. Yeah. Darnell and... Choke and take two. So Randy and Terry told me to go check out all the systems because I would know how if they were all working or not. So I went in every room and checked out, you know, uh, the heads and the showers, make sure everything was working on this uh, new boat that they brought us. But it wasn't actually a new boat. It was actually three years older and a lot dirtier. It didn't even look like they'd cleaned it. They'd barely made the beds, but we're going to make the best out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna start pulling to the uh, I'm gonna let you show that. Hey babe. Where'd she go? Yeah. She's like, I'm done. I got you, babe. I don't think you can. You, that that was just cannot, a freak accident. It's a freak fucking accident. And I, and the I, fact that it kept burning. Yeah. Well, they thought we weren't sure. Yeah, they, and I wouldn't have burned. They told us we had those, but we'll get more. <laughs> now with a new, well I mean older, well, older than the one we had, but at least it's not on fire. We make our way over to Willie T's, to let her hair down, and finally get to have some fun. Say, Willie T's, bitches! Did she just take her top 
off to dive? She yeah, did. she did. You ready? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. And you got DC. 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 Yep. I'm Holly. Pudding. That's pudding. pudding. And I'm Holly Dawn. Jack. She's just Jack. Just Jack. Just Jack. DC's in the house. Oh, wait. Hey, my wife's here. Um, Somehow, DC. Oh, wait, shit. I got the camera rolling. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Edit, 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 edit. Day two in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. Boat two in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. And you know where we're headed? Back to the mornings to get boat three because I got no helm control. How did they bring the boat all the way to us and not realize that? I'm driving it now. Yeah, but he, they gotta know it's a problem. Why would they think that we could handle that? Now do they build it? Should we make a phone call? Right here. Have we looked under any of these seats up here? right oh, now. Oh, my probably my husband. <laughs> we were supposed to leave the bananas on the last boat. Well, you can't see that on YouTube. I'm not. <laughs> Did they answer us? Did anybody get a definitive answer? That really sucks. So I woke up to them saying that they saw uh, a lid off of something. And it turns out it was like but the steering fluid goes in, and we were hoping to go back to get some steering fluid to maybe change boats again. Shame on you, Maureen. But we're gonna park right there because we don't have steering fluid. We don't have steering. And then they park right in front of our face. Oh. It's a holding. And we're waiting, which you would think, you coming in, got no helm control. You would think they'd be out here in a heartbeat, but no. <laughs> We've been sitting here for 10 minutes, still waiting, waiting. We've had three guys go by in their dinghies. But we got got no no big people. I hope they bring the, the, the base master with them because this is really getting silly. Hey, oh, Randy, you think it was the bananas? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it was the bananas. We moved the bananas to this boat and it's look what happened. The banana look. The horrid banana look. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say it's just the moorings, not the bananas, but we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll give them the... Wait, no we won't. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're wasting our second day at $1,000 a day. Uh, it's actually 1250 Oh, I'm sorry. And, well, not if you, and you add in every plus plus plus, you're looking fifteen hundred dollars a day. Or two thousand by the time you get here. So, okay, Randy, that one's obviously hot. So, you tell us your take on whatever just happened. Okay, so what it is is the the dock master. Of course, he knows nothing about what's going on. And so we went and hit him up, and he was totally blindsided, basically. He's like, well, you I'll woke him up? No, no, we oh. hit him up. Oh, hit him and, up. And, uh, boat from yesterday so I explained that very briefly uh, and then he basically said well okay I'll get somebody over to fix that steer so that's what we're uh, they, they walked off and refunding you two days worth of so we're gonna call, gonna call America. America America do they not get that this is not just like a, a light bulb that needs to be changed <laughs> I know. okay <laughs> 
I need somebody on my side because there ain't nobody here in the BBIs that's doing anything to help us. Yeah, that was two days ago. And we weren't the only ones that were having trouble with the boat. This guy brought his boat back. He was getting off, getting a full refund. He was done and done. So after a long chat with the base commander, which, well, I couldn't put on film because A, she asked not to be filmed, and B, I really don't want to have the way I acted uh, recorded. But they assured me that the boat was going to be fixed and that we would be on our way in no time. And two hours later it was, but still. So out we go again. We're giving it another try. Because you're in the BVIs. What else are you going to do? It's gorgeous here. You're not going to sit at dock. I'm having a hard time with this. I'm following the instruction. So we made a quick run over to Peter Island to have some drinks and a little bit of lunch over at Ocean 7 Beach Club. Don't forget to join us next week as we continue cruising the beautiful BVIs. See you then.